Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, me, Ryan118, back again today discussing football related topics, surprise, surprise. Uh, today is something that I never really got to speak about last week because it was kind of overshadowed by the Celtic and Zenit St. Petersburg game, but it was something I wanted to make a video on, something that I feel I should make a video on considering I'm Scottish and I'm a Scottish football fan, um, and it was obviously the appointment of Scotland's new manager. Before we get into the video, make sure, like and subscribe. Uh, well, you know, 10, 10.3k coming up for, let's try and get to 11k as soon as possible, I really would appreciate that. But um, earlier last week, uh, Alec McLeish was officially announced as the Scotland manager, the kind of expected name uh, for me since since day one. I wanted it, right, I wanted it to be Michael O'Neill and uh, it didn't happen. Uh, ultimately, I didn't think it was going to happen because I didn't see him leaving his home nation. I was really hoping it was him, but that fell through, as we know. We then heard about Walter Smith, uh, and I made a video on that discussing my opinion, which looked as though it could have been likely, but at the end of the day, it was going to be hard to take him out of retirement to, to actually tempt him to come back to management to manage a Scottish team, which isn't exactly in the best of states. And from day one, when Gordon Strang was sacked, the, the name coming to my head, the name expected, was always going to be Alec McLeish. Um, who has obviously managed Scotland before on a previous occasion where he done not too bad. He got some notable wins, um, he, he even beat France, but uh, ultimately he walked out and, and went to Birmingham City. Bizarre, uh, but obviously a Premier League club at the time. But he did have a spell as Scotland manager. It wasn't the worst spell in the world. You're, you're going to see worse. Craig Burley, Craig Levine, uh, or George Burley even. George Burley, Craig Le Levine. These are managers who manage their team who are definitely worse than Alec McLeish. But Alec McLeish nonetheless has been given a second term as Scotland manager in the year 2018. Uh, and that to me speaks volumes. It's 2018 and we're turning to Alec McLeish to be our manager, I, I'm not going to lie, and I'm not going to, you know, kind of sugarcoat it, uh, sugarcoat it, I'm very disappointed with the appointment of Alec McLeish, uh, and it comes to the same kind of um, mindset as I felt towards Walter Smith being named manager, I feel like, you know, it's this kind of same old shape we're going to get, uh, we're going to see the team selections being the same, no evolution in tactic, I feel Gordon Strachan at points brought entertaining football to Scotland, and I don't think many people can dispute that, Rangers fan or not, because obviously a lot of Rangers fans are going to back Alec McLeish. And I don't want to turn this video into, into the kind of one, I'm a Celtic fan so I don't like coming Rangers fans. Out my, no, that's not the case, but the majority of Rangers fans might back Alec McLeish. The majority of Celtic fans won't back him. That's just the general consensus of what's happening. Um, but Gordon Strachan, I thought at times, did play entertaining football. Look at our performance against England at Hamden. That day I thought we were quite ruthless, we were urgent, we played a nice game uh, where ultimately we created chances and looked as though we could beat England. Obviously we drew the game in the end and there was other games where we played good football. Alec McLeish though, I feel like we're going to turn to 4-4-2, Stephen Fletcher starting up front. Um, that is what I feel like we're going to get with Alec McLeish. I feel like it's a step back. I genuinely do not see how Alec McLeish is better than Gordon Strachan or in a better position to take us to a major tournament over Gordon Strachan. No disrespect to Alec McLeish whatsoever. He's been a very successful manager. He's had a successful career. Uh, he's won multiple trophies at Rangers. He has had a decently good spell at Scotland, but I feel like his time is in the past for a nation which is struggling and been living in the exact same scenario for the past 20 years. It has been 20 years of the exact same stuff for Scotland. And uh, part of that 20 years was Alec McLeish being in charge. And now we're repeating that again. There was options out there for something fresh, I feel. We had the options of Malky Mackay, Stevie Clark, Neil Lennon. These are my Neil Lennon wasn't even spoke to about the job. And yes, a point Neil Lennon comes with a lot of baggage and a lot of people do not like Neil Lennon. But at least he's bringing something fresh maybe if we were appointing him. He wouldn't have been my first choice. Saying as a Celtic fan, it wouldn't be our first choice. Stevie Clark and Malky McKay, though, would have been easily ahead of Alec McLeish for me. I just feel like it would have brought something new. They've not had as successful careers as Alec McLeish. But Alec McLeish is, you know, his career's well done. Um, I don't see how someone who has had very unsuccessful terms with clubs like Birmingham and Aston Villa, etc., etc., in recent times, uh, and spent most of the past couple of years as a pundit, I don't see how he's the right option for Scotland. 
uh, and I feel like it's going to be very backdated stuff we are now going to see for the national team and I'll be very surprised if we'll make it to Euro 2020 and I'll say it right now if Alec McLeish does manage to get us to Euro 2020 if he can take us to a major tournament I will hold my hands up admit I was wrong and take my hat off to Alec McLeish I will because I'm trying to say it with all due respect I think he is a man who has had a decent enough career uh, and he deserves you know a bit of respect for what he's won um, but I don't see any progression here for Scotland and I'm disappointed at the lack of ambition and, and ultimately the SFA is in the worst state it could ever be in. We are in an atrocious state and right now at this point it feels like we've not even got a national team with how bad we've been. Um, so really it is going to take a miracle for any manager to come into the Scotland set up and take us anywhere but for me Alec McLeish is going to be picking these same players. We're going to see Buddy Alan McGregor end up being back in goal somehow. Uh, maybe not that extreme, but Barry Bannon, Stephen Fletcher, James McArthur. These are going to be players who are going to be spoke about starting games um, under Alec McLeish, in my opinion. He's a manager who has floated around England a lot of his career, uh, and I think he's still the kind of manager who will be very uh, pers much persuaded to pick these players who play for English teams, rather than players who are performing well um, in the Scottish leagues, who are playing week in, week out. Um, I just think it's going to be a Barry Bannon influenced midfield and such uh, once again with Alec McLeish. Hopefully he shows us straight away he's not going to go down that route. You know, he's got friendlies coming up um, and we've got that International League Europe fucking pish next year. Uh, pardon the French once again. Um, and hopefully he will show us that his team selection will not be stale, will not be trying to use these old worn out players who do not get a game down in England um, and hopefully he'll choose the informed players that deserve to play for their country. Uh, but ultimately, I feel like it is a disappointing appointment. There was better options for us. I think we could have been more experimental, a bit more ambitious. Uh, and obviously, we don't have a large amount of money. We couldn't, you know, pay wages that are massive. Ultimately, the reason Alec McLeish left Scotland in the first place is because he was getting a higher wage at Birmingham City. That's saying something. Birmingham City paid a higher wage than the Scottish national team to Alec McLeish. Um, so it is always going to be difficult, but I just don't see how this is exciting in any way. Uh, and it's by all means, in my, in my opinion, a letdown for us. And I feel like it's going to be a letdown of a campaign. Um, I don't see how he's going to do anything that Gordon Strang couldn't, in my opinion. Gordon Strang's a better manager with better tactics and he is just as successful as Alec McLeish as a manager. Alec McLeish has won nothing down south, just like Gordon Strachan, but they've won, you know, equal honours for the respective clubs in Scotland. But yeah, I think Gordon Strachan just has a better branch of football for us to play, a better brand of football for us to play. Um, ultimately, I just think it's going to be stale for the next few years. Uh, and we're going to have to put up with it, and hopefully I'm proven wrong. I don't mind if people are coming back in this video in a year's time commenting, like, how stupid do you feel? Because I would love for Alec McLeish to prove me wrong. I'd love for him to put something into the Scotland fans' hearts that makes us feel like we're going somewhere, um, which has just not been there. And ultimately, under Gordon Strachan, by far, I think he's been the closest. Um, I thought the, the qualifying campaign for the World Cup was incredibly unlucky. Uh, and silly errors cost us, you know, from going to the playoff rounds. But ultimately, we would have probably been knocked out, let's be honest. But, you know, we had us believing at points. And it was silly, silly errors which cost us from getting to that playoff round. And I think if Gordon Strachan was allowed time to really reevaluate um, his stubbornness over his team selection and given the chance to direct us through the Euro 2020 qualifying campaign, I genuinely think he would have took us somewhere. But I just don't see it happening under Alan McLeish. And it's just my opinion. Uh... From my point of view, I just think that is what we're going to have to suffer over the next four years. Um, and, I, and, I, and, and I say it once more, it's, I say it with all due respect, because Art McLeish is a manager who now is, what, in his 50s, 60s, had a long career and probably deserves a lot more respect than it sounds like I'm giving him. Um, but I, I'm personally um, not too enthused um, by the appointment of Art McLeish. But only time will tell where we go. Uh, a lot of people... I think are on the same side as me. If you look at polls on Twitter, etc., it seems to be met with a lot of kind of um, discontent and not so much anger, but um, just you know the same kind of grudge and and disappointment that Scotland fans have had to face for the past twenty years. Um, so only only time will tell. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to hit like and subscribe. 
Um, let me know your opinion in the comments below, I suppose. Uh, and hopefully the Scotland national team goes in a positive direction under Art McLeish. Uh, but we'll see. He's, 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 he's done decent enough in the past. Uh, but it's a whole new era now of players. No longer the likes of James McFadden and Stephen Fletcher and such that should be playing. Well, not James McFadden anyway. I think he's fucking retired. But no Stephen Fletcher and such. He needs to pick the right teams. That is ultimately what he has to do. And if he does and he just plays... Not launching the ball at the park to strikers. If he plays decent football, we can get somewhere. Um, but we'll see. Because I just, I just see him playing that 4-4-2 with Stephen Fletcher up front. Stephen bloody Fletcher. Like and subscribe. See you all next time.